At present, treatment options in triple negative breast cancer are limited both in number and effectiveness. Considerable research is focusing on the identification and elucidation of draggable targets in dysregulated pathways implicated in the natural processes of the disease, including apoptosis, proliferation, cell cycle progression, DNA repair, immune modulation, invasion, and metastasis. The major challenge in treating triple negative disease is the disease heterogeneity. We recognize that triple negative disease is compromised by four molecular subtypes, including basal like one, two, mesenchymal type, and also the androgen receptor related. It's this disease heterogeneity that reflects the diverse responsiveness to treatment and the diverse outcomes of this very challenging tumor type. In addition to the disease heterogeneity, we are dealing with the clonal evolution during the natural history as the disease advances. Being in a position to have a better insight about the molecular heterogeneity of the disease and being able to decipher the molecular subtypes in triple negative breast cancer, we are in a position to provide uh, personalized patient care. The one size fits all diagnosis to support our prescription pad gets replaced now by an individual technology-driven event that allows us for treatment selection. The unmet need in um, molecular targeted therapy is how we address the disease through its evolutionary lineage. Cancer is a complex disease and is in a dynamic change. It's constantly evolving, changing, and adapting. Researchers and clinicians are addressing this challenge by getting snapshots at different stages of the disease evolution. There are limitations in this approach, which could potentially give us tremendous information on how the disease is evolving, but the new approach is to move toward the implementation of non-invasive procedures. To address the need for accelerated drug development and a personalized care, um, novel clinical trial design, especially in the preoperative neoadjuvant treatment setting, as well as um, utilization of uh, surrogate markers of, of drug effectiveness um, have been implemented. The, uh, the preoperative, the neoadjuvant treatment platform allows for early testing of, uh, of new therapies, um, gives us an opportunity to assess the effect of the other cancer therapy on the fate of the, um, of the cancer cell uh, and enables us to define biomarkers of, of responsiveness or resistance to therapy. Uh, it also gives us uh, a, a tremendous opportunity to support preclinical models as is the uh, um, organoids or the patient-derived xenografts that they share a lot of the um, tumor donor um, important essential um, characteristics and allow for um, experimentation um, that can facilitate early, early screening um, and enable um, 
go on decisions for for effective therapy. Um, I'm basically you know, talking here about um, being able to model the, the cancer ecosystem um, by creating the uh, avatar models. Um, what I mean with this is the human hybrid alien um, example um, and run mini preclinical clinical studies.